can we really create all of these amazing scroll animations using only HTML and CSS? The answer is absolutely. And I will show you how to do it right now in this video. And hopefully by the end of the video, you will understand how to create different types of scroll-based animations without ever writing a single line of JavaScript. So to start this off, I will create a div with the class of progress. This will be the progress bar at the top of the page you saw in the preview. And later on we will make it follow the scroll bar position. And below that we will have the main section of the page. This is where we are going to add all of the images and also the list items that we are going to animate later. And aside from that we will have some filler content. So this is going to be just some text that will create space for us to scroll through the page. I'm just going to use this Wikipedia article about Bengal tigers, but of course you can use whatever you want. As far as the images go, I grabbed two of them from unsplash.com. Okay, so we have the elements we want to animate, we have some scrolling space, so now we can move on to the CSS and make the animations. The first animation we will work on will be the animation for the progress bar. And the way we do that is by setting a scroll timeline to our HTML element. Now the scroll timeline will need a name, this is the name that we'll use later on to associate the animation with this scroll timeline, and it will also need an axis. This will be either the Y axis or the X axis. Remember that you can scroll the page not only upwards and downwards, but also sideways. And you can write this either in two lines or in one line. This is the shorthand property. You can choose any of them you like, they do the same exact thing. The progress bar will be in a fixed position at the top left corner of the page. We will give it a full width some height, a background color, we will set the transform origin to 050, this means that the progress bar will grow from the left to the right, we will create the animation, and this is also the place where we connect the scroll timeline from before to this animation timeline. This in simple terms means that the animation will follow the scroll bar. All that is left now is to create the keyframe animation, so here we specify from which state or style we want this element to start in and in which state or style to finish. 
and this will be all it takes to see the first animation in action. So you can now scroll the page and see how the progress bar moves along with the scroll bar. Before we move on to the rest of the animations, I will do some simple restyling of the page. So now for the images we will create a view timeline, so the difference between a scroll timeline from before and this view timeline is that the scroll timeline will follow the position of the scroll bar of the element you add it to and the view timeline will be based on the position of the element itself that you add it to, so not the scroll bar of the element but the element itself. The rest of this will be pretty much the same steps, except for the animation range property. We will have two values here. The entry value is the position from which the animation starts. So depending on if you want the animation to start sooner or later in the timeline, you can edit this value to change that. And the simplest way for me to explain the cover value is to have you visualize it as the distance. So how far do you have to scroll to get from the beginning to the end of the animation? Or how much space the animation covers? And once more we add the keyframe in order to specify what exactly we want to animate. I will make it fade in and expand, but you can do whatever you like. We basically follow the same steps for the second image and the list elements. We can also see that they share the same animation, so this will be the fade in from the left. And that is it, now you can take a look at the end result. It really is amazing that we did all of this in just CSS. One thing I will point out however is at the time of making this video some of these properties aren't fully supported across all browsers, but I am sure this will change soon enough. I have tested them in Chrome and Microsoft Edge and it worked just fine. So there you go, that will be it for this video, I only wanted to cover the basics and have you make some simple things, of course we can do much more with this and create advanced animations, and I will get into that in future videos. I will also put some more examples in my buy me a coffee page, so if you want all of the source code of my videos and some more examples and some additional stuff, you can become a member and directly support the channel. So yeah, I will definitely explore more of this, but until then, see you in the next video.